Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, there are two issues I'm going to show you. Number one, how to create slab and managing its settings. Number two is just a brief introduction into load application to this kind of a structure. Welcome once again to this, to this presentation. Now, if you, if you take a look on our previous presentation, we had uh, a similar structure or a structure of this kind. Now, on this part, I may call it part two. I'll show you how to place or how to place slab or put a slab on every floor. We have one, two, three, four, five. And probably six they are the utmost and uh, I mean the the far end or the final slab now we can nav to navigate you use this cube you can turn your model around to any direction or to any view of your preference perfect now to do that easily we'll switch back to a plan view now on plan view we'll start off with level one just double click on level one and you'll see this then go to slab or model click on model come to 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 slab slab on beams then pick either of these we'll pick we need just a flat slab at level one then select from that end and run all the way to this end and leave it there i'll go i'll, I'll take you back to how to set this the thickness of the slab is very critical or it's very very important you you give it some time to to effect the changes or uh, to put in place what you've just requested to be done at or on that level now if you take a look on the next uh, floor and I take you back to to flat slab you come down here and use this drop down arrow to navigate to the sections that uh, will require you to adjust the thickness of the slab deck or slab type is flat you can change that even from this spot just come up we want to uh, to adjust the thickness of the slab just scroll down or up yes yeah, we just move up slowly add to existing we don't need to add anything here slab type reinforced overall depth is 100 you can change this to 150 just then just click on empty screen we come to level two level two we need that we need a flat slab and just highlight everything to that end let it take effect then we move to uh, the third floor and go straight to flat slab retaining the same same settings and just highlight from that corner to this corner then we do the same thing to to 
fourth floor. Just double click on the fourth floor or on the level four or construction level four. Then come back to slab, pick the flat, then just highlight everything to that end. Then come to the fifth floor or construction level number five and double click. Then come to flat slab and the model tab. Then highlight from that far end and to this end. Perfect. Then we are remaining with the very last construction level. What we do, double click on the final one, then go to slab on the beam, pick flat slab, then after double clicking on the, the final flat slab, you, ca you come back to this flat slab and highlight and highlight everything and place it on that far end perfect floor then uh, you want to take a look of what you've actually done we'll switch back to our isometric view under 3d now this is the presentation of the slab creation you can navigate through and zoom closer you'll actually see this slab on top of the beams running all the way to the very last height of the whole structure let me switch back to isometric views these are, these are slab this is a slab and that's a slab and you know we'll notice one thing the moment you hover your cursor on top of any member it will you will get the description or uh, the description of that member like i've hovered my cursor on top of this pad base pad for this column base uh, i mean the footing of this column you'll actually see it's labeled pb71 and that is pb72 you can see that and even i hover this you can see that beam 11 or b11 beam 211 and that's b111 and this is and this is b211 uh, b212 and this is a slab one this is slab two perfectly and well labeled now let me show you one single thing prior to winding up with our lesson today I'll briefly show you how to apply the loadings on either slab or beams. Then we'll go comprehensively as we move uh, step by step. Now, to apply loadings, we have we'll switch back to to this to this star to this tab. Yeah, this is load. This is for loading. From there, we'll come to load, loading, load tab, and we have load cases. We have self weight, excluding the slab. We have slab self weight, we have dead load, we have the services, we have the imposed. Now, prior to making any step further, if you come down here we have select load cases we'll, we'll select a load case here of of imposed loadings we'll pick the imposed loading just to brief you on how to apply the loadings on this simple structure i've i've, I've highlighted an imposed loading Thereafter, I'll go straight to to full and I mean uniformly distributed loads. 
then click on that I want to apply it on that beam just select on the beam place on it just go on and place that you can do that you can also switch back to plan view we'll come to model then we'll come to levels we want to start this from level one double click on level one then we come to loading first of all you select a case to make these tabs active at the moment you see them they are gray or they're gray which means they are inactive so if you we pick the impost load then this will be active go ahead and pick then just distribute all this just di distribute all this all round just go on and distribute this throughout the structure like this perfectly just go on and do this now if we switch back to isometric view you would see this load loads well the the loadings have, have been distributed on the beams what you do now is just press your your escape button on on the keyboard to uh, take you off that command this is a brief introduction on load application and let let us discuss this further on our next presentation thanks and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye bye